Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. So it's been a while since I really sat down here and chat with you guys. It's been about probably two months now as I pre-filmed all my videos before I came to London. So yeah, I've been here for a while, but as you can tell from the title, it is a manga shopping with me video. And I was so excited today. It's not even just a manga shopping with me. It's a manga hunt, okay? Your gal is on job today. So basically, if you guys know, with my collection, I like to have, um, all my volumes together if that makes sense so when it comes to series especially ones that are completed i'd like to pick up all the volumes in one go as i always had this fear of everything going either out of stock or out of print and i really put myself in a predicament where i have started collecting series that are completed but certain volumes are now getting harder to get i don't know if it's because of what's going on with the world right now or they're really diminishing the printing for that series so um yeah i'll let you guys know what series and volumes that i need because it is stressing me <laughs> like you know when you read a manga series and you're missing a volume and you can't carry on until you get that volume i'm at that stage with a lot of my series right now and yeah i have a few things to update you guys as well so since i've been in london for a while i only brought with me one series for my collection and that was a man and his cat so i haven't read manga for two months as well so you can imagine my withdrawal symptoms right now but at the same time of course i've been continuing my manga collection just Journey. so I have been buying manga whilst I've been here but online so it's not so yeah all my manga hasn't been shipped to London is at home at the moment so I have boxes I'm not I'm not even exaggerating I have about four boxes from traveling man um, that I need to unbox and loads of other parcels from other like websites such as Blackwells literally the stack of manga that is sitting at my home right now is giving me a little bit of anxiety as I know I have to unbox it as soon as I get home and also make a haul video and also film my collection video once I go home so by the time you guys are watching this I would have just gotten home so i have about two weeks i think of filming before i go to uni and i will be doing a vlog where i update you guys a shift of this channel well there's not really much of a difference basically this channel is just going to be more personable probably more vlogs more lifestyle but always it's gonna be about manga so don't worry but yeah i'm excited for today as i haven't done physical manga shopping in since the last time I did my video so it's been a while and um, I'm excited so today I'm going to not just only Forbidden Planet as I always go there and I feel like it's quite boring to just go there and show you guys the same thing but it's, it's kind of nice you know because I can show you what stock they have as well but today the main goal is go to as many manga book stores or comic book stores that exist in London and basically hunt for the series that I need and the volumes that I need. So I'm gonna go to Camden first. So I've never been to Camden, like this whole time I've been in London, I always come to London, but I've never been to Camden. Camden's like a little part of London that everyone hypes up and loves going. But um, basically in Camden, there's a Japan craft and I think they sell figurines and some manga and like, I'll, I'll insert some images actually. You guys are gonna see it anyway once I take you guys with me. So yeah, first stop is Camden. Then I'm gonna go to Central and go to Forbidden Planet and then maybe Gosh Comics and then all the bookstores. So like Waterstones, Foils, we're gonna basically check out what is in london and see if i can get the volumes that i need basically i wrote on my phone all the volumes that i need that are missing and i don't know if you can see the main one that i've been oh been irking me is um demon prince of the moment she house volume four that one oh, can you see me i'm already sighing i should have got that volume when i saw it in store last time at i think waterstones as that volume is really hard to get right now and i don't know when it's gonna restock of course i'm gonna hunt for my kami samic kiss like i don't i don't know if that is even possible to get a kami samic kiss but we're gonna try but um there's some other volumes that i want um to pick up that i've been collecting but yeah i'm really excited to show you guys like all the manga that i bought recently as well but yeah so from this week onwards my videos will be back to the normal schedule of a weekly upload so every monday 8 30 p.m gmt 3 30 p.m est and then 12 30 p.m 
PST, um, if you're wondering. So I will be uploading every Monday again, which I'm so excited. I can't, I'm, literally, I'm, I'm buzzing for creating content and just like showing more of my manga collection journey and just my happiness. As you guys know, manga is an investment to my happiness. But anyway, before we get into this video, please give this video a like, comment, and subscribe, you know the drill, and click on the bell. And feel free to use my affiliate links down below for Blackwell's, Amazon, and Bright Stuff if you want to help support this channel. As um, yeah, all the affiliate links goes back to you guys anyway, because you know me, I use all that money for giveaways for you guys. As you know, just giving back to the community, sharing the love of manga, you know me, just sharing all that happiness. And yeah, it's been it's been nice. Also, yeah, the last recent video you have seen of me that is like of live time, if that makes sense, of, of current time basically, is my Black Wells giveaway. Literally, I filmed that video on that day. I look, I literally, it literally looked like I just woke up from my bed. But I was, yeah, that day I was working and I just did, I didn't look my best, but I needed to put that giveaway out there. But there will be more giveaways soon, especially before I go back to uni as I want to organise something big. But yeah, stay tuned. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy coming along with me with this manga shopping with me i'm so excited i know this intro is very very long as i haven't sat down and chat with you guys in a long time like you can see i'm buzzing like i haven't left the house in a few days now so i can't wait to just breathe some fresh oxygen see some manga like i miss my manga shelf at home so much but um yeah i'm not gonna talk about that that just makes me sad but i can't wait to go home as well and show you guys my collection but yeah, it's gonna be a buzzing week, buzzing month. Like, it's just gonna be lots of content coming your way. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video and come along with me. Right, so we arrived at Camden now. Very, very busy. I'm trying to find this Japan craft store, but it's like a little maze right now. But I'm gonna still take my time and look around the area, you know. Uh, yeah, just take it easy. Don't want to get flustered again. <laughs> So this is voice over tiffs i hope you guys don't mind my voice as i'm currently very poorly at the moment but here's my manga shopping me video i hope you guys are enjoying it so yeah japan craft is in camden market i'm so surprised to see a store specifically for manga and anime as normally in the uk we have comic book stores but yeah they had so many manga bookcases filled with lots of manga that's also wrapped in plastic wrap to keep it protected but yeah feel free to pause this video if i'm going too quick I noticed with the store as well, they had a lot of manga series that you normally don't see in store as well, like Arisa. But yeah, these manga are priced at retail price. And there's Alice in a Murderland. So I'm at Japan Graph right now. Lots of manga, quite small. It's a very cute, cute place. Um, didn't expect this to be in Camden Market, but excited to see more. So you can tell I'm on a hunt for volume 4 of Demon Prince of Momichi House as that's the only volume I'm currently missing in my collection. But yeah, you can see there's quite a lot of gaps with the shelves as they only had stock with four certain volumes. There's some Dr. Stone, Fushigi Yugi. But yeah, I like how Japan Craft had a lot of stock of series that you normally don't tend to see in the store. So um, yeah, there's loads of fairy tale. Food Wars, Fire Force, as always, and I like how everything's in alphabetical order, so it's really easy to see what series they have, but it's unfortunate to see the amount of gaps they have as well. See Happy Marriage, normally you don't see that in store as well, as it's quite an older series now. And then Jojo, of course. Let me know down below what's your favourite Jojo. Mine, hands down, has to be part three. That's the only Jojo manga series I own. And I actually own the soft covers, not the hardback covers, which is awesome. But yeah, there's Carnival, quite a few volume twos. I actually haven't seen this series in ages, actually. Let me know down below what um, series you watch as an anime. Um, I never read Carnival as a manga actually, but um, yeah, the anime I really did enjoy back in the day. 
and then Parasite, they only had volume 3, I'm currently only missing volume 6 in my collection, I see Prison School, and Say I Love You, quite a lot of series that you don't normally see, Skip Beat, 7 Deadly Sins, but yeah, like I mentioned earlier, all these series do cost at retail price, Terraformers, Takane Ohara, Spice and Wolf, I always said if I become rich rich, I'll start collecting these. Can you see how much they are? $75.92. Wow. As you can see, they do have a lot of nendroids, but they are quite pricey. And they do have some anime scrolls at the top as well, which looks awesome. I did contemplate in picking one up for my uni room in September, but we'll see. Because I'm not too sure if they're legit or not. Um, but they have some Japanese sweets, some Funkos. But yeah, I'd like to mention they do actually have a lot of isekai series that I noticed that they've been stocking up lately. Um, with um, just manga bookstores in general, which is awesome. Chobit. So I'm just looking around the bookcases once more and see if I find anything that I like. So if this is um, Forget Me Not, I actually haven't seen any of this series in store. So this is my first time seeing it. This was actually on my wish list earlier this year, but I haven't picked any of the volumes up as I do find them quite expensive. There you can see um, Goon, which is an old memoir. And then they have a little section for the Ghibli stuff. Um, let me know down below actually what's your favourite Ghibli movie as I've been binge watching loads of Ghibli movies lately as you can tell I've been ill. So I've just been watching loads on Netflix and um, my favourite one lately has been The Tell of Princess Kaguya. Did not expect that to be a Ghibli movie at all. But yeah there's some real account. And then Say I Love You Again, Spice and Wolf. And then um, Wallflower did not expect that series to be honest as it's a very out of print series that I would love to collect but I think it'd be impossible now. And then they have some Yona volumes and they have these posters as well that I think they, co they cost around like £15 which is not too bad. I love the chibi versions of the AAT characters, so cute. And then here's a bit of um, some other stores in Camden. Why is he like being green? <laughs> oh, these are cute. So I noticed they do have a few stores in Camden that have quite a lot of fake um, merchandises as you can tell all the skin tones look a bit funny but yeah I grabbed some churros as well whilst I was in Camden they were actually quite expensive I think for the churros that we got were about £8 which is quite dear um, but they do taste very very yummy but um, yeah I like how they have an egg thing outside as well which was nice just noticed what was behind me low <laughs> And I got some bubble tea from T4, of course. So we didn't really have many luck with um, Japan craft, but we're going to Forbidden Planet now. Got myself T4 bubble tea. This is really the best bubble tea place ever. Um, oh, we can cross, we can cross the screen. But yeah, we're going to um, Leicester Square now and then walk to Forbidden Planet. And yeah, hopefully I can find the volumes that I need. But um, yeah, it's quite a busy day, even though it's a Monday today. So we arrived, we're going to the Vinland Planet of course right now. Um, I told my boyfriend that we are going to stop at Gosh Comets and Foils and Waterstone so we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, let's see what's in store. So we arrived at Forbidden Planet, literally my favourite place ever. This is the mega store in central London. So if you guys don't know what Forbidden Planet is, it's basically a comic book store that has a large selection of manga and they also do their manga free for two for its Fizz published manga, so buy two get one free. And I was so surprised to see these BTS Funkos, but yeah, they have a lot of figurines, Funkos, comics manga like anything that you can think of but yeah i saw this wonder woman um little figurine for £9.99 which is a bargain i literally can't say no to a bargain and of course every time i go downstairs to the manga section i always had to bring my basket with me but yeah this is my first time showing you guys the layout of forbidden planet so they have two big sections of manga so this is section a to m and then um they also have a little bl shelf there 
and then they have um, this section which is from O to T they actually added a new little section as well um, where it used to have comics and that has um, T to Z so yeah so this is a little overview to show you guys and also in the O section there are some um, like novels as well you can see some Jinji Ito just a shelf full of that and then um yeah as you can see this is the T to Z section where I had Tokyo Gold so I'm looking at um the Promise Neverland here looks like they don't have volume 20 and I like they have um shelves for new releases as well so you can see their new stock Moon of the Dawn they only had volume 21 and some other volumes which are Atelier the Witch and the Beast, Watakoi, only, um, yeah, you can notice there are a lot of gaps with the shelves and they only have stock with certain volumes, unfortunately, so normally they will have more stock, but um, yeah, as you guys know, with the whole world right now, but this is the A section. I recently actually picked up the box set for Assassination Classroom, which I'm so excited to show you guys in my hauls in the future. I'll say in the next few weeks or so, you'll see, um, the haul for my assassination classroom box set so this is the b to d section so dead dead demons dead man wonderland demon slayer but yeah they only have certain volumes for certain series so there's volume 9 that i needed in my collection so i picked it up and then this is the f section so for metal alchemist fire force IQ, you can tell there's Hell's Paradise. Literally, last time I was here, they had loads of volume two, but this time they had only volume six, which I was so surprised about. But I guess the series is getting very, very popular. I'm just showing the F section once more. And then Horror Mia. So you can see there's quite a lot of volumes that used to be there, is no longer there. Like they used to have a big selection of Hunter x Hunter. This is the BL section. And it looks like they only have one volume of a certain series, so like volume 5 of Given, loads of that, but no other volumes of Given. And then some other series like Naruto as always. But yeah, you can tell there are lots of gaps with the shelves. They normally have a lot of volumes of a series, but I guess they are running low on stock with certain series lately. Lots of Shaman King. I don't see no um, volume one of Shaman King actually. I thought these were single volumes, but if you lift it up, it's a thick one. What the heck? Yeah. And it's free for two, but it's 21 pounds though. Definitely was surprised to see a 3 in 1 or real count as I only know them as singles. But yeah, this is the Q section, Queen's Quality, Rent a Girlfriend, and this Shaman King. Oh, there's Shortcake Cake, a sign of affection. Yeah, hopefully the music in the background doesn't get copyrighted or anything like that. But um, basically I'm just at a cafe right now, just resting a little bit. Um, I have two bags of manga. Well, it's not very heavy, it's not a lot of manga. However, I did spend quite a bit. But if you work it out, if you divide it, I think each volume costs around £6.60, which is, I think it's decent for, especially the volumes that I got. But I'll show you later when I get home. But yeah, today it has been, it didn't go expected. Like if you saw earlier on all the shelves, most of it was empty all the volumes that i should have got last time weren't there like yeah it was a bit of a little nightmare and i'm so busy like today i'm at the Boom planet and it's a monday so um yeah i did not expect it to be this busy but it was packed last time when i said it was packed this time this time was 10 times more packed than last time and just a bunch of people and i guess it's like summer holiday as well but yeah nightmare but anyway i'll show you guys what i got um later when i go back home i will stop at foils but since me and my boyfriend were quite tired so we might just stop at foils and just forget about gosh comics and waterstones but maybe i can push and go to waterstones as well but we'll see because gosh comics is in soho so it's a bit further away from us right now so um yeah but we're in a cafe just chilling right now um but yeah today you can tell my reaction it's been a blur, it's been a mess. Well, what a day. Oh. 
what a day. I know, it's all a bit much, isn't it? I did not expect it to rain. <laughs> I've got to bring an umbrella. Well, definitely we're only going to stop at four right now. There's no way I'm going to walk to Waterstones in this weather. I'm like, all my manga's going to get soaked. Oh, look, look at me, I'm looking like a mess. I feel like this video is just jokes right now by, by this point. But I hope you guys are still enjoying it. You can see Foils is right down there, so I'm gonna quickly run in there and see if I can find any manga. Ooh, it is spring! Let's start walking. God, it's not the best weather, is it? Right, so I just arrived in Foils. It has a little section of manga, so hopefully we can find some volumes that I need. I remember when I was here last time, there was Dean and Prince of Mochi House Volume 4, but that was back in, was it May, I think? Oh, <laughs> in time, I'm quite sure. I had to kind of, um, was it tiptoe? But um, let me show you around. So, Foils is the typical bookstore that we have in the UK that has actually quite a few shelves of manga, which I was so surprised about. As normally bookstores in the UK, they only have like one or two shelves, but here they have about five or six. But they do have the typical volumes that are very popular, like The Promised Neverland, Pokemon, Monster. But yeah, I really like this store as it was very quiet compared to Forbidden Planet. Forbidden Planet, literally, social distancing did not exist in that store. Especially on that day when I went, it was just so packed. But yeah, a lot of volume fives again with Given, Come You Can't Communicate, Kurukuro no Basket, Dr. Stone, Demon Slayer, all the like popular volumes they have. I noticed they don't have any volume ones of 20th Century Boys, which is unfortunate. And then I saw this manga series, the spines look so cool, but I don't know what the series is actually, but the front covers were quite disappointing compared to the spines. But yeah, just seeing if they had volume 4 of Demon Prince of Mochi House. But yeah, Drifters, that's a series actually um, a lot of people told me to pick up, but I, I have no idea what it's about to be honest. Kiss Me by the Stroke of Midnight. Okay, there was no luck at Fools. <laughs> Oh, I've, I've definitely learned that if I see a volume that I need, I should just pick it up on the day because the next time you go there, most likely there won't be the same volume again. Going home now. I am bloody wet, Jesus. <laughs> definitely soaked when it's bloody rain. It's not, it's not the best weather to do some manga shopping. But it is what it is. I can't believe how busy it was with this weather, not gonna lie. And it's a Monday. You can tell I'm soaked, even on shoes, I'm wearing a trench. So I am back home now. Right now it's actually late in the evening. I'm currently making dinner and I have 10 minutes to film this little haul of what I picked up from Forbidden Planet. Please excuse my frizzy hair and just me looking like a mess. Like today was raining hard when I came back, like you guys would have saw. But actually, let me do a little reflection with today's manga shopping with me. So today, like I said, it was meant to be on the job manga hunt and it didn't really play out how I expected. Like, I I was planning to go to Waterstones, Gosh Comics, like other places in London, but you saw the rain, there was no chance that I was going to those other places, and especially with the time that I had left, because when I left central London, it was already like around 5 p.m. and everywhere closes at 6 p.m., especially with the comic book stores, so I only managed to go to Japan Craft today, and Forbidden Planet and Foils. Of course, with Forbidden Planet, I did pick up some volumes, but you guys would have saw in the earlier clips, a lot of the shelves were empty. Like, I never experienced going manga shopping physically and seeing so many empty shelves, but they did have some extra shelves, actually, at Forbidden Planet, where some parts used to be comics, but they extended it. But still, it was very weird seeing how empty the shelves were, and I was getting pissed at myself whilst I was manga shopping, where I saw, like... Especially, I went shopping about in May, I think. Um, I saw a lot of volumes that I should have picked up. As um, back then, I didn't pick up either. But it's because I wasn't collecting the series. For example, Hell's Paradise. I only started collecting series um, only like a couple of weeks ago. But I haven't even unboxed any of my parcels as I haven't been at home yet. But it's the fact that like, I should have picked up that volume two of the Hell's Paradise because now. 
Hey, it's impossible to even get that volume. So yeah, that was bugging me whilst I was market shopping. And another thing is that I went on a Monday, so today is Monday, and I thought it would be less busy, but oh my God. Oh, what a day. I know, it's all a bit much, isn't it? It was packed, like Camden was packed, Forbidden Planet was so packed. Like, because I went around 4 p.m., I thought, oh, it's near closing time, so it would be less busy. No, 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 no. When it's near closing time, it turns out it's more busy. So, um, yeah, I was just, I was just really in and out. Normally, with my manga shopping with me videos, you would see me in the store where you can see my face. This is literally me just showing you shelves and getting all the volumes that I need and just dashing out. I just felt a bit like in and out dash. Like, if that makes sense, like, I just, I was comfortable. I didn't feel as flustered as last time, but. It just wasn't what I expected and I don't like how it's getting to this point where I keep on thinking like just stick to manga shopping online now but I still enjoy going physically as I do love the free for two but yeah let me quickly show you all the volumes I got so um, this is out in no particular order so I spent about 70 pounds in this haul I know it's a lot of money but we move, okay, this is to me saying that, okay, it's been my birthday month, I spent my money, okay, no more now, because once I go back to uni, I'm going back to the broke student life, I'm already going broke because there's no income, so <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a mess, but I'm being very real with you guys, you can see I'm very happy, as you know, manga brings me a lot of happiness, it's an investment to my happiness, like I mentioned in the intro, but yeah, so the first manga that I bought is Golden Kamoi. So in order for me to take advantage of three for two, of course you had to buy three volumes and you pay full price for two volumes. So it's buy two, get one free, if that makes sense. So yeah, I bought as um, many Golden Kamoi um, volumes as I can. So I've got volume 10, nine. This is what the cover looks like. Um, volume eight. Volumes. Oh, this is something else. This is um, Dead Dead. Dead Dead Demons Dead 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 Destruction by Inio Asano. So I haven't read any Inio Asano works um, at the moment, but I do have Goodnight Pimp in my collection. I'm still waiting for me to go back home to read that series. I will do either a manga wrap up or first impressions or manga review once I read it, so I can let you guys know how I enjoyed that series. But yeah, I picked up a uh, more of Dead Dead Dead. dead. We're gonna just forget about the title. Yeah, I picked up more of this um, series as I recently picked up volume one on Traveling Man. Like I said, I haven't been home, so I haven't unboxed it yet, but you will see it in my future hauls soon. And some more Golden Kamoi, so Golden Kamoi um, volume 11. Literally, like, I don't know what I do. Like, with my mental state when I go to Forbidden Planet, I always think, just pick up those volumes now, especially how I felt with Parrot not Paradise Kiss, with Hell's Paradise, like I should have picked that volume two up. In my head today, I was like, just pick up any volumes that you need in your collection, just fill in the gaps. No matter how far you are with the collection, it's fine, like even with Yon and Dawn, like I don't even own any of the volumes from the beginning. I only own like the later volumes, like volume 26, 27, like some random volumes like that. So there are big gaps in my collection right now, which I can't believe. But yeah, Golden Kamui volume 12. Ooh. This character looks awesome. She looks badass. Is it a she or he? Okay, I'll just keep it as they look badass. Um, then, <laughs> so I got Hell's Paradise for volume six. So this was the only volume that was in Forbidden Planet. There was loads of volume six, but no other volumes for volume two and that. So I just picked it up because why not why not and this volume looks amazing all i've heard is good things about this series and how lovely the art style is like it's very beautiful um i was oh no can you see that it's crinkled and frick <laughs> i get so sad when i see that it's even me um going through that with the rain and it just didn't do well or i didn't notice this when i was shopping but probably i didn't notice it when i was shopping as like I heard it said, it was literally in and dash, in and dash, dash in it. Oh, someone correct me down below, but you can tell I'm talking quite quick as I'm trying to show you everything that I got and make it in time for going downstairs to turn off the oven. But um, the last two volumes that I got in my another bag is Golden Kamui Volume 14. 
Jeez, I don't know I bought so much gold in Kamoi. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know how. <laughs> I really can't wait to read more of this series, but I don't know when I'm gonna even read these volumes as I don't even own volume two, but I do own, own um, volume three and four. I might have to do it digitally for um, volume two, but next series i'm really excited to show you guys um and i was so surprised it was free for two and that is this series can you see what it is it is the girl from the other side and i got volume three i know i don't even own this in my collection but i picked up volume three is because i believe i will pick this up later so um yeah this series actually is quite expensive if you can see it's 10 pound 99 and this is the size of volume let me compare it to golden kamui so you can see it is quite a small size and it is not thick at all but it's not as thin as like my boy and arjun it's not as thin as those but i like how like the sides look you know so yeah let me show you some of the pages like what i like about this is that the shading of the series i'm so intrigued about it i've never seen anyone talk about this series until i watch a lot of um nana's dreams videos where she mentioned this series and she just has so many of these volumes and i was like i need to pick this up you know so i picked up volume three and i'm really excited to read this once i get volume one and two but i'm glad i had this in my collection but yeah i added this as i needed another three for two volume but yeah that is volume three of the girl from the other side lastly what i picked up from forbidden planet which is shocking as i never pick up figurines i've always wanted to pick up nendroids so when i went to japan craft today there was a lot of nendroids but they were so expensive like you will have seen in the vlog they were like 80 pounds 70 pounds like for me i can't afford that okay i just spent 70 pounds on manga right so how am i supposed to spend that on one figurine but anyway i bought this figurine which is wonder woman if you have noticed in a lot of my manga hauls you would have seen my wonder woman 1984 statue at the back you know where it's like a big box yeah so i thought let me just add another little cute figurine into my collection and i always wanted to have little like either funko pops or nendroids where I can put on my manga shelves to make it look pretty. So yeah, I thought this one would be a nice addition to have my first ever one. So this was very cheap. I definitely would not have picked this up if this was retail price at £16.99, if you guys can see, but I picked this up for only £9.99. So I thought, let me just pick it up so I can just put it on my shelf for a display. But it looks very, very cute. But um, yeah, I'll show you guys what's inside later. So it looks like I am back. So your gal was rushing this whole entire ending and it turns out the food wasn't even ready in the oven. So I'm back here trying to finish this video. But yeah, I'm gonna unbox this little figurine. Um, another thing I wanna mention is that with the Hell's Paradise volume, I didn't expect it to be this big, you know? So my initial thoughts with this series, I used to think it was a quite expensive volume, but now I understand why the series is expensive as it is the Viz signature line so you can see at the back it does cost £9.99 per volume so I'm glad I got this for free for two as without the free for two definitely is quite hefty to pay you know oh I've got my hair was up we'll just keep it up but um yeah I'm really glad that it is a big volume like the Kodansha volumes as your girl has poor eyesight but yeah i just want to mention that this is a big volume as i don't know why oh car i don't know why in my head i thought this was a smaller volume series but yeah i'm really happy that i got to pick up all these volumes today as eventually i will have to pick some of these volumes up in the future anyway so yeah i'm glad i was able to pick these up but i wish i was able to pick up some other series but you know we're stuck nowadays everything is not how it's expected you know but yeah let me open this little figurine so yeah like i want to add more figurines into my manga collection just so like it can like spice up the shelves you know the only problem with collecting figurines in my collection is that i only have two shelves space so once it fills up i would need to get rid of the figurines and just fill it up with books as I am definitely using my shelves at its maximum like capacity or potential as your gal has small space unless me become rich rich and buy a big house and I can get more manga shelves then that's different but I just had to work with what I got for now I do have a bit of space so let me enjoy having some figurines on my shelves but yeah I wonder what this looks like I know this line does have like um was it figurines for I think Sailor Moon um 
characters. Oh, there's more tape here. Yes, yeah, some Sailor Moon characters and also Demon Slayer, um, I believe. I might be wrong, actually. But, um, yeah, don't quote me, actually. But, um, yeah, I do apologise for speaking so quick near the end of this video as I don't know what is happening with me. I feel like I'm just rushing, but... Anyway, today I had a really great day just manga shopping and also one of my video did premiere my manga wrap up which I haven't done a premiere in a while since I've been in London and like like I've said I haven't really filmed a video since two months ago so everything has been feeling very refreshing and I just love chatting to you guys live on the premiere because yeah I just love the updates I just love um interacting with you all you guys are always so lovely and supportive but yeah let me show you guys the figurine so, oh, so this is what the box looks like, and inside, is that the doll? Oh, oh, <laughs> I didn't, for some reason, I thought I didn't need to build this, but this is what the doll looks like, so it has the head, the body, and the wings, and this. Okay, I'm not gonna build this at all until I go back home and put it on my shelves, but this for £10, this is actually pretty decent compared to like paying for Nendroids. I definitely don't think I'll be buying any Nendroids anytime soon as you're going rich rich. So it looks like we have reached the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this manga shopping me video slash haul, whatever you want to call it. Definitely had a lot of fun like creating the content today and just going out. Like I haven't been out in a while, like I said. It's just been fun picking up some manga and just being able to chat to you guys again because it has been a while and I hope you guys enjoy this video and there will be more of these type of videos in the future where I just sit in the corner of the room and just chat to you guys so it's a bit more personable and just more comfortable like here I'm, I'm like whatever you know but um yeah i hope you guys um are excited and also come along with this new journey with me once i go back to uni as definitely things will be a little different but thank you so much for joining me with this video and i hope you guys enjoy it but um yeah that's it i hope you guys have a great day evening keep on staying blessed and i'll see you guys next week bye